It's day five of Middle Eastern week and today we're going back to 2018 when Afnan released this one called Supremacy in Heaven. It's a clone of a very popular expensive niche summer fragrance but to find out which one I'm referring to stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and thank you very much once again for tuning in to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. My name's Paul and today's featured scent is Supremacy in Heaven by Middle Eastern clone house Afnan. And if you uh, wanted to check out all my other reviews of fragrances from this line, uh, I have now created a dedicated playlist on the homepage of my channel, uh, which also includes other me uh, Middle Eastern brands like Armaf, Latafa and Rasasi. So if you enjoy these type of uh, Middle Eastern scents, then don't forget to head over and check out my new playlist. But back to this one, and it came out in 2018, and it's described as a woody, aromatic fragrance for men. It comes in a 100ml bottle size and also in an eau de parfum concentration. I picked this particular one up from Amazon uh, for £34, which I'll leave a direct link to down in the description if, you're, if you are interested in picking this one up to try out for yourself. Yes, we're into the presentation and the uh, box comes in this uh, similar design to the others that came out uh, pre-2021. But again, we have a, a different colour scheme going on with this really nice sky blue colour with like a, a metallic sheen finish and uh, dark blue metallic branding. Again, on the front, we've got this uh, large supremacy emblem and some small uh, fleur-de-lis motifs, uh, which all come in like a raised finish. At the top is the uh, name of the fragrance and down at the bottom is the name of the house and also the size and concentration which is all printed in metallic blue. Uh, on the lid there's another Afnan logo, uh, at the bottom is all your usual product information and barcode and around the side we have the uh, batch code. Around the back are just lots more of these, more of these little fleur de lis motifs and uh, some more info down at the bottom. The bottle design is not too uh, different from all the others that I've already reviewed in this line. Apart from uh, this one comes in a sky blue to silver colourway which I think looks really stylish. Again there's the name of the fragrance and the name of the house on the front along with this metal supremacy emblem in silver. At the bottom we have uh, an Afnan logo stamped into the glass uh, but this one and the Noir version don't get the name that's in etched into the top of the cap and just come with a plain cap so don't worry if you've uh, if you've bought one of these and it doesn't contain the logo you haven't bought a fake. Uh, the cap is made from metal and it feels really well made and weighty and it clicks into place but I'm not sure if I'm totally in love with uh, the design of this ring cap but it does make it easier to remove and uh, it also resembles a bit of a halo so it kind of suits the in heaven theme. We have a, a chrome atomizer and the whole of this range has a really nice decent spray quality and in terms of presentation I reckon Afnan have really nailed it with the whole supremacy range. Yes, yeah, so we're into the note breakdown and this one opens up with top notes of bergamot and mandarin orange. In the heart of the fragrance, there's blackcurrant and green tea. And the base notes in this one are sandalwood, woody notes and musk. Okay, so this is a copy of Creed's Silver Mountain Water, which is a bright, fresh fragrance with citruses, green notes and a smooth, musky and woody dry down. And on the whole, it smells very accurate to the original. But when you test them directly side by side, there is actually a subtle difference. And it's this difference, it's only a small difference, but in my opinion, uh, it just makes the Afnan copy a slightly more enjoyable and easier to wear fragrance, uh, and possibly a little bit more suitable to wear on as like a daily driver. The original Silver Mountain Water has like a, an inky accord in the opening and it smells very sharp and metallic which I find a little bit off-putting but that's uh, really dialed back in this version and it's not as ha not half as metallic smelling so it doesn't constantly just peck at your head like the Creed does. 
You do still get a citrusy opening with also a very prominent green tea note and some slightly sour black currant, which takes you uh, from the initial spray through into the heart of the dry down. But to my nose, this is uh, just ever so slightly fruitier uh, than the original Creed version. And it's one of them rare occasions where for me, I actually prefer how the dupe smells over the original, especially for the first hour or so. As it dries down, it becomes slightly more powdery and musky, but with also some smooth woodiness in there also. But it's uh, definitely the green tea note that stands out for me uh, to me the most in this one, and it's present throughout the whole lifetime of the scent. It's a clean and bright smelling herbal uh, type of fragrance with a, a bit of herbal greenness to it uh, and it's a, a luxurious take on a spring slash summer fragrance and it has that kind of niche quality and complexity that is definitely going to divide opinions. Like I say, I find this one a little bit less challenging than the original Silver Mountain Water but it's still unmistakable what this is trying to replicate. This is one that's best suited to the warmer months of the year and I don't know why but I just get a really summery Mediterranean vibe whenever I smell it. It's a very versatile scent that you can wear dressed up for a really smart evening event or it works just as well wearing it casually just for a stroll along the seafront in your, in your shorts and a t-shirt. I find that it really comes to life outdoors where it's quite airy and breezy uh, but for me it can get a, a bit too much for me indoors after a while though and it seems to just annoy me um, after about maybe three or four hours if I go a spray too heavy on the atomizer. It's a fairly mature fragrance especially for a freshie so it would be best suited to men possibly over the age of 25. Yeah, I found the performance on this to be not quite as good as some of the others in the line and to be honest it falls a fair bit short in comparison with the original Creed version. You'll get a couple of hours of decent projection but after the four or five hour mark it's pretty much a skin scent that you may just catch faint wafts from uh, but it's certainly uh, not one I'd describe as be uh, beast mode. Having said that, it's not a bad uh, performer either, especially for a fresh fragrance. So again, this could be a positive if you find the original to be uh, a little bit relentless like I do. This is a really excellent quality copy of Silver Mountain Water and apparently according to lots of other reviewers it's uh, better than our Maths Club de Nuit Sillage as well uh, but I've not tried that one so I can't really uh, give an opinion on that. But I've got to say I've always found Silver Mountain Water quite difficult to really fall in love with and it's one of them fragrances that I really try to like but it just never quite does it for me. It's a bit like if I won the lottery and I went to buy a flash car. I wouldn't buy a Lamborghini because it's just too aggressive looking with all the sharp angular edges and that's just for my own personal taste. Uh, but I can appreciate that it's uh, an absolutely wicked car. And the same goes for this scent. It's undeniably a quality fragrance that's a real masterpiece. But like the Lamborghini, it's just too sharp and aggressive for my own taste. And by the way, I'd go for the Aston Martin V12 Vantage if you were wondering. Yes, yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. But don't forget, I'll be back tomorrow with the last instalment of this Supremacy series. Uh, and then I'll make a final video with uh, my overall verdict and crown one of these seven fragrances the king of the Supremacy line. So if you don't want to miss either of those videos, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified when they go live. Also, if you've uh, enjoyed the content and you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to the channel. The channel is growing now slowly and people are starting to watch for longer. So thank you very much once again for all your support. It's also great to read all your comments about your own personal opinions and experiences on all things fragrance so let me know what you think about these Afnan fragrances if you've managed to get your nose on any of them. So until next time everybody thank you very much once, for, once again for tuning into this episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you for the last one tomorrow. Bye bye for now.